Hi guys, welcome to the next episode of Mark Rock Angler Chronicles. Uh, first and foremost, thank you for all your comments and uh, questions. I believe I have uh, answered them. Um, all of them, most of them, most of them, except for those who are commenting to us about locations. Uh, you know how it is. Uh, certain there are locations that I am not able to disclose because uh, a lot of people use that location actually. Alright, so back to uh, this week's episode. Um, okay, I think few episodes back I've been talking about lures that have been successful, that lures that I've used which has been successful um, when I first started out luring. Lah. I talk about all the Lampala lures, all the user videos. I've, uh, I've also touched on the premium lures that I use which is the Duo International lures Spirit Ricky and stuff like that however I think I did not do justice to that series of episodes because I there are still a few lures that I have not touched on um, and one of them is also another premium lure from Japan uh, I don't use it as much uh, compared to Duo International uh, Duo International is one of my favourites so I use it a lot uh, Leos like Spirit Yuski, Ryuki, Popper 64 But the other brand, also a premium Leo I think it's, yeah Also a premium Leo from Japan And that brand is Aima Okay, a lot of people actually use it also uh, To fish for pickup base But I don't use it as much uh, Aima is actually a, based on my looking at their website and things like that right I noticed I think they are more specialized in um, saltwater luring I feel there are a lot of lures that they offer for saltwater but I might be wrong correct me but in the comments below if I'm wrong um, yeah um, and but take take nothing away from Aima I think they are an excellent uh, lure maker lah. I feel they, they, have, they make a lot of different different variety of lures um, and and so much that I, I I don't use them but I collect them actually yeah I do collect some of their, uh, their lures lah Aima and they came up with such cool names lah, like Pugachev's Cobra who thought who would have, who would have thought that a Pugachev Cobra is actually the name of a lure from Aima Anyway, having said that uh, The lure that I'm talking about I used it one night um, at, a, at an illegal site of a reservoir um, One day, me and my friend We haven't met for a long time So we decided, like, hey, let's go luring at night at uh, that place lah. so we went down so I was just talking to him while we were during it and that at that point of time we were not expecting to get any fish lah because night luring is I think I have never been so successful uh, at luring at night so we were just more about catching up with an old friend and doing and luring while at the same time lah so as I was talking to him, suddenly I feel a tug on my rod And at the end of the battle, it was this Quite a sizable fish lah, I think 2.5 kilo, 67 I think 60 Almost 60 centimeter pickup base lah uh, And what lure did I use at that time? It's the Saima Sasuke Sinking 95 Alright Not this color I, I was Before I started recording I was looking for the The lure that I actually used on that day But I think I Lost it already uh, Somehow Somewhere Couldn't find it uh. So I decided to look for The exact lure in my collection of <laughs> I'm lures In my storage And I managed to find some samples lah uh, yep, so 
Aiman Sasuke SS95 uh, One of the lures that I successfully caught A peacock based on And it's at night It's at night So let's talk more about this lure See you guys in the close up Ok hi guys Welcome back to the close up now this is the Sasuka SS95 Sasuke sorry Sasuke SS95 from Aima um, and as you know they are all premium these are all premium uh, yours from Japan uh. alright quite unique the way they, they are designed uh, Aima yours are uh, always very intriguingly unique uh, look at look at the, the look at the front part you see they don't have that they don't utilize the lip but instead it's incorporated into the lure itself they come in var variety of sizes uh, like this one Sasuke SS75 75 is the length this is 95cm eh 9.5cm this is 7.5 uh, what's their weight? Uh? Um, not sure about their weight though. The most of it is written in Japan. Oh, this is 10 grams. Uh, Sasuke SS SS means there are two types eh? the Sasuke SS 95 means sinking 95 there are also SF which is the floating and this is the sinking so uh, basically they are like jerk beats I guess and one special thing about them is that the flutter on the drop so when you pause right, they will flutter and drop So this is Of course the, they, they come in a variety of colors lah. I'm, I'm not going to open this box because It's part of my collection lah. But they come in a variety of color The one that actually got me the fish Is not this color, it's uh, bone white It's totally white with a bit of yellow if I remember correctly a very little bit of yellow at the front part but the rest of them is bone white this one let's see that's the bit usually it's written here although I can read in Japan oh it's 7 gram so this one is 7 gram, can you see it? 7 gram 75mm The hook is size 10 This is Sasuke SS75 While the Sasuke SS95 is Let's see space so. Okay 9.5 95mm 10 gram ST46 Size number 6 Oops So Ayama Sasuke Yo Yep so This is one of the lures that has successfully gotten me a fish Uh yeah let's go back to the go back to the main camera yeah guys right so that's the sasuke ss 95 or an ss 75 there is a there are also the floating ones but i've never used it so i'm not in a position to say anything but yep that's uh, for the SS95, yes, I've used it and I have successfully caught a fish on it, so that's all I can say. So, those of you who are uh, interested in 
trying out Aima Lios to catch peacock bees that's definitely something that uh, you might want to pick up lah, uh, as part of your arsenal there are a lot of other Aima Lios uh, around so many uh, um, I've not really tried them I've collected them I, I collect them as it's part of my collection your collection but I've never actually used it uh, in the field uh, to catch actual peacock bees um, the only one the only exception is that this particular one uh, Sasuke SS95 if you're interested what color uh, that I used that night it's uh, it's bone, bone white with a bit of yellow if I remember correctly and what I did was um, I was at the you know, play area of this reservoir so me and my friend were, we were just talking so what I did was I cast along the coastline along the coast of the along the edge of the water that means if this is the where the water in this land right I just cast a parallel like that I just ting, then I pull 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 um, because I know over there there's a water is very deep so I know sometimes these fishes they like at night they like to uh, come closer to the to the ground to the to these cliffs lah um, yeah, so that's the lure that I use on that particular day. Right, so until then, till the next episode of Marok and the Chronicles. Uh, if you have any comments, any question or any comments, feel free to drop drop it down in the comment section below. And if you like the materials, uh, the the content that I share with you, please feel free to press the like button and subscribe button. It really mean a lot to me for the growth of the channel, right? Till then guys, thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. See you guys in the next episode of the Mud Rock Angle Chronicles. See ya!